but I know of a man who may just hold the key to their survival. A laboratory at a secret location. This man, who we'll call Erek Maleki, is perfecting the science of ratite artificial insemination. <laughs> emu farming is big business, and Erek's mission is to improve farmed emu stocks. I introduce you to my trained e emus. And yeah. Using his trained emus, Erek, somewhat misguidedly, I think, is going to train me as an emu artificial inseminator. Beginning by teaching me how to get close to an emu, starting with the gentle sex. Do you know how to grunt? The male grunts, if you grunt. So if I grunt, I go... Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! <laughs> Missed me. So I've met gals like this before. And I know how to treat them. <laughs> Get out of this cage as quick as you can. <coughs> now thoroughly terrified, I eventually subdue her. <coughs> That's the she's for you. <coughs> well, that's incredible. Now, collecting semen from a male. Using this. The artificial clacker. Erect's revolutionary technique. When birds mate, they achieve clacker contact to the, to the, to the, and to so the you, semen. And so you make something that uh, stimulates something or that sim stimulates, yeah. to the female clacker. A clacker. It sounds like a suburb, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm going to build my house in clacker. That's well, be that's careful because you live between the reproductive and digestive output, so... Mate, I've lived in places like that, believe me. I haven't seen the female at work. I've seen them things kick, like Tony Lockett. I now have to deal with the males. Erek does nothing to calm my fears. Come on your knees yep. and put your hood on because when they grab you, they will grab you by the neck uh, and they will, you may bleed. Uh, <coughs> so this I'm is important protection. Just cover your ears and cover your neck. Okay? Right. So we go to the bird. Please. Okay. Thank you, my liege. Well, Cheers to you. See the, the, yes. the, 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 the mate. That's the male we call blue. As you can see, he's very, very approachable. He's yeah. actually approaching you and started pecking you. He has already. Which indicates that he's very interested. And he's already on his, he should squat now. About now. I should squat? He, yes, please squat. And then he will squat too. God, this is a bit. <laughs> right. And when do now, I, do I rub his... Use your right hand. Yes, yeah, so what do I rub his... You rub his belly, rub his belly there. Yes. You can see his vents. No. No. Oh, yeah? Yes, and put it on, yes. <laughs> you missed that. I missed it? Yes, you missed it. You just find it. Oh, oh no. yes. friggin' mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's to you. Lock home. <laughs> that is... Not something you do every day. Thanks, Blue. <laughs> it's bizarre. Good. Can you use that? No. Why not? Because we didn't collect. Uh, he ejaculated underneath that, and then when I said you missed it, then you, you put it back correctly, but there was not much left there. So you just got to have a land. The wreck kindly tells me it's taken years to train his emus. And sometimes, even he resorts to a secret weapon. A raincoat? Yes, a raincoat. The yellow raincoat has worked wonders. Erek is a master at this. You can see that uh, when he comes to this, he is the Bradman of the Kalaka. He's a magician with, with the left hand. He hasn't started pecking yet. Wow, it's like... Oh, there he goes. 
Oh, he's grabbing it and he won't let go. He is just... He's finished. Well done. It's amazing. He's obviously got such a, a way with them. And in a way, why wouldn't he? Because this is, this is Eric's life's work, you know. And he's made the study of these birds his own. And he's built up this great portfolio of knowledge. Imagine if Eric's groundbreaking artificial calaca could be used in breeding programs for the endangered ratites and megapodes. They might have a chance of being around for a few million years more. Let's hope so. In a weird sort of a way, me being a small part of it, I, his story, Amy's story, it makes me quite proud to be Australian. And I'm proud to have been picked on the top of my head by a Randy Inu. <laughs>